Jamie Dornan. It's actual Jamie Dornan. Yeah. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. Sitting, sitting. Ooh. Sit. No, these are exciting times. Exciting oh. times. <laughs> no, because it's Valentine's weekend, and finally, Fifty Shades of Grey is hitting the cinemas. Yeah. Oh. Now, I think it's Julie Ward. Julie, what? will you and your husband be going to see the film this weekend? Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. My husband's a farmer. He gets up at four o'clock and... Fifty grades of hay, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but we are definitely... Yes, I'm going to see it. Yeah. Oh, definitely joking, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but do you have, do you have Valentine's plans? <laughs> Uh, you're here to talk about uh, your new Channel 4 show, but we, before we get to that, I just want to quickly mention, because you've been in many of the papers, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. Now, when is that? It, it comes out next year. <laughs> See, already they're whooping and cheering. <laughs> That's <laughs> the three, three bums on seats. <laughs> no, no, no. But is, is that going to change your life? Uh, I've no idea. <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> it's very hard to... No, I know you can't predict, but the anything. buzz about it is, uh, you know, you must have noticed there's a lot of interest in that movie. Yeah. I mean, look, we're in a, we're in a very powerful position. Like, 90-plus million people have read the book, so, you know, it's like a third of the... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, you know, a hundred of those people, you know, that's, that's successful if they see the film, so it's a nice position to be in, but I have no idea what it's going to do. And when's it? It's out next year. It's out on uh, Valentine's Day next year, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, Can you imagine? Oh, you're a Fifty Shades of Grey baby. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when were you born? Oh! <laughs> I get it. I get it. But the weird thing is, in terms of changing your life, it did change your life physically. Did it? Yes, it did. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah. This isn't as creepy as it sounds. <laughs> um, yeah, OK, right. So, look, basically, I have always had a complex with uh, the way I walk. Um, and I've always been told throughout every, you know, point in my life that I've... I've not always been told I've got a bad walk, but someone's always commented on my walk. It's always been a bit like, all right, so you, that's how you walk. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how you walk. Like, okay. that was is that, me is from, that you walking? From school. Oh. <laughs> but, honestly, <laughs> but honestly, like, and then... Uh, Back off. We might go there, we might go there. <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, so, and I remember a mate of mine at school said, um, because uh, I have quite, uh, I'm not, this won't happen, but I have quite pronounced calf muscles. Um, and I've, it, I always thought it was a hereditary thing, but I remember my mate, once we were talking about it, we didn't just sit around and talk about that all the time. Yeah. What beautiful calves, Jamie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing! <laughs> we have great nights just <laughs> start staring at them and drinking. Um, and I said, uh, he said, you know why you have big calves? I said, no, it's, I think it's because my dad does, it's hereditary. He said, no, no, it's because you walk on your tiptoes. So I was like, is that a weird thing? Whatever. Anyway, a couple of jobs I've done. The first day that we did the fall and I had the walk, the director, or the producer and writer, Alan Kubik, came up and said, um, is that a character thing or... <laughs> <laughs> or is that your walk? I was like, hmm. I, I could be trying to clever my way out of it and I thought, no, I'll just tell you, that is how I walk. So we started working on things. He started talking about, why don't you take, maybe take longer strides? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, honestly. <laughs> so, and then with my, my wife and I would walk around where we live in, 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 in uh, London, and because I'm, I'm on my tiptoes, I'm quite high, I'm quite bouncy. <laughs> um, so my wife, we said, why don't you try leaning back, right? <laughs> honestly. So I'm literally walking, we go out for walks. Um, and I'd literally... So th I'll show you my... This is my old walk, right? Okay, this is oh. the old walk. This oh, the old I'm walk. so okay. excited. Don't get that excited. <laughs> <laughs> This is my old walk. I can't even, I'm, I'm so out of sync. No, I, I'll do it. This is my old walk. <laughs> right? I don't know how, okay. This is my. This is a walk we tried, right, with my wife. <laughs> I'm not doing I'm excited. Remember, the, remember those commercials from Mr. Soft? I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you. And then. And then. This is what. I'll, I'll, this is what we settled on, and I'll tell you how we got there. This is what we settled on. Oh, shit, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got my new one? You'll see my new one. It's fine. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> how did you get to the new one? No, OK. So, how I got there was, 
I have to dance uh, in, in uh, just a little bit of dancing in Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was I can't dance at all. So uh, I mean, I, I they asked me could I dance, and I was like, yeah, I dance all the time. <laughs> I, I can't dance. Dance is my life. So I had dance lessons, and it was like foxtrot. It was very sort of classic, and the uh, the dance teacher, I was really struggling with it, and the dance teacher said, you know what you need to do? Just think about it as walking. I was like, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I'm 31 years old. It's literally the first thing you learn to do in life is walk. And I was like, it's funny, I, I'm not a great walker. <laughs> and he said, he said, you know, just think of a walk, heel, uh, heel to toe, heel to toe. And I was like, heel to toe? <laughs> And you all never told me that. <laughs> I was like, oh. I literally went toe to like more toe. <laughs> I don't know. So now, I, now I, I just apply that every day and I'm walking around. Oh, 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 about you, Stephen? Are you bringing Mrs. Mang in somewhere special? Uh, no, uh, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to do something with her I should do more often, which, oh. <laughs> which is cook her a very special meal. Oh my God! Yeah. Same thing's happening in Kentish Town. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Kentish Town—they've gone all out. Old oh, tin openers—they've got it all. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jamie Dornan. I read somewhere that you are fleeing the country for the weekend. You are, like, you're disappearing. <laughs> I'm certainly going to, like, take it easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to be, like, standing around Leicester Square with my shirt off saying, did you enjoy the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Like that though. No, yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah, we're going to keep a low profile. But where it. can you go to be in hiding? Because this film is opening. It's opening globally this weekend. Yes, it is. I'm going to. Um, I'll tell you about it later. But I've got a couple of wee places. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'll be in the garden shed if you're looking for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. Like the build-up to this thing has yeah. been so intense. It's going. Oh, Fifty Shades Grey. Fifty Shades Grey. Fifty Shades. So now that it's finally here, is it like a huge relief? It is a relief. I mean, we finished filming over a year ago. So, uh, obviously, for Sam, a director, she's spent most of that year in a dark room editing it and, uh, you know, the whole, everything that goes with post-production. Um, <laughs> everything's funny. Everything's funny now. I'm just thinking of her in the dark room. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone. Yes. <laughs> it took her a year to edit this. <laughs> More than Irish actually, it was just voted uh, the sexiest accent in the world. <laughs> that's because of these two guys. Yeah, pro actually, it probably <laughs> is, to be fair. No, but, that's not right. Couldn't be right. Yeah. <laughs> but as sexy as it is, I know that... Jamie, you, your daughter mocks you for something you... She does, yeah. Yeah, she's sort of mocking me. Really pleased about that. <laughs> <laughs> just turned four and she's already mocking my accent. <laughs> I remember thinking it'd be nice if she says the odd word in an Irish accent, and it, but actually she... Well, there's a book that uh, we read her every night called um, uh, Bedtime Bear, and uh, it goes around, there's all these different animals that come out of places. There's a bison in a basin, and then there's um, an owl in a towel. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like quite sort of posh in English and, and she's like an owl in a towel <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we go say it like daddy and she's amazing what she does she goes she goes an owl in a towel do you have fun on the set yeah of course man because you know it's uh especially when we get into the red room and you know yeah I've never been in a room like that in my life yeah you know? yeah yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've had some big nights. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, no, but, you know, I, 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 we're totally new to all this apparatus. Um, yes. uh, and I had to be comfortable with it because, you know, he, Christian's the one that uses it. Yeah. So I asked to spend a bit of time in there by myself. <laughs> um, to get to know my way around. Are you flushed, Steve? I'm just having a bit of a flush. <laughs> 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 no, but 
because I, I hadn't read these books. I mean, Julie, have you read the books? I had. Oh, have you? But by mistake, I didn't know what I was getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, I did think it was 50 grades of hay. No, I, I just, it was on the sort of, on the, ex, the, the outreaches of my awareness, if you like. And I just, people were talking about it, so I just had a new Kindle, so I ordered that because people were talking about it. Bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I know the film is going to be better because Jamie's much better than my imagination for a start. <laughs> yeah, and Sam Taylor Woods directing it, yeah. so, you know. Yeah. And Sam Taylor Johnson now. Oh, I'm begging right. yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Now, Stephen Mangan, have you read these books? No, but it's nice to see a film that depicts people having sex in a way that the vast majority of the population does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't believe there's anyone here who doesn't have uh, a sex torture chamber in their house. <laughs> yeah. I have two. <laughs> Knocking them through to build one love. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I haven't read the books. I think See, they're, I mean, they're I, sort of a woman. Well, well, isn't it? Okay, so here's the thing. So just, this is just uh, this isn't scientific. So how many women here? So shout out. How many women here have read the books? Yeah. Okay. And how many men have read the books? <laughs> one. No. Is there one? Where's the man who read it? There. Show yourself. Get Did you re that. have you really read the books? <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy them? No, oh, they're shite. <laughs> that's all. But that's what I like about that is he said they're shite. Yeah. He read more than yeah. one. <laughs> Just to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> And now, Jamie Dornan, I was expecting more of a beard. I'm working on it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need to work harder, I think, because the fall starts really soon, doesn't it? I start filming next week, but I've just come off something else, so I have two weeks to grow a beard, so I'm... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried that, doesn't work. I have tried it. I have tried it. <laughs> like Play-Doh hair. <laughs> 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 it's not what I thought it was going to be like. I thought it would be much sort of darker. Because actually, it's quite romantic yeah. and there is a... it's a love story. Yes, Graham, it is. Yes. Well, no, but I thought it was going to be like bars I went to in the 80s. But it's... No. it's really... it's... I mean, uh, my, my uh, defence uh, to this is... You can't sustain people's, um, you know, attention over three books and to sell all three books on such a massive scale. 100 million people have read these books. Um, it can't be three books purely based on s and sex. There has to be a story. There has to be a, like a, something threading through it that keeps people coming back to it. Um, and that is, I mean, that is, there's a love story. It's, about, it's, very, in, it's very, like, classic in that it's two people who on paper uh, shouldn't be together, um, but they make sacrifices to make that love work and, you know, change for one another. That, is, that story's been told a million times before. Um, without the S&M, so... Does he love her, though, Jack? Does he love her? Yeah, I, my thing is, I think, you know, he's relatively incapable of love, um, but yeah. over the course of the book, says your man up there, I'll tell you, um, <laughs> he, he learns to love. I, um, oh, uh, does he? Um, yeah. Oh, in the film, I think you get that he loves her. Yeah, I mean, you get... Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's, I guess he sort of never says as much to so your... No. My performance says that as well. Yes, it really Thank does. You. It was all in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Never mind this, I want to hear about these bars you went to in the 80s. <laughs> like I remember. Hey! Uh, Gracious. Oh, that God! That is beautiful. That hair! So that hair is amazing! I think it's amazing. <laughs> there can't have been a stylist involved. <laughs> <laughs> and there has to be hair models own. I remember at the time going back to Newcastle, my mum going, Your hair looks stupid, what are you playing at? And I was thinking, Oh, she doesn't know. It's she cool. Understand. And now you look at that picture, Mum, you're right on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that not the same hair that the girl from Aqua? Remember Aqua? Oh, I'm yes. I'm a Barbie girl, remember yes. her? Yes. She had oh, that I'm a exact Barbie girl. Yeah. Horrible hair. Wow. What, a, <laughs> what a very uncool reference, yeah. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated it. I appreciated it. <laughs> 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 you remember them? Yeah. He's now looking, he's now looking for our allies. Well, you remember them, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was an aqua, it was an aqua, it was some other band. Yeah. Yeah. Some remember indie punk thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not you go back to Northern Ireland, you think people are coming up to talk to you. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to talk about my dad. Yeah, my dad's an obstetrician, um, gynaecologist from home, and, and he's, uh, he's, delivered, he's delivered over 6,000 babies in, in Northern Ireland, which is a tiny place, so... 
Um, so almost a lot every of woman knows yeah, him. Almost every woman knows <laughs> yeah. him. Um, so, yeah, I'll be in a pub or something and someone will come up and I'll go, oh, this will be nice. Like, fan of the fall or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll be like, can I just say that your dad delivered me? Yeah. <laughs> and, is that it? Is that it? Anything else? <laughs> no, that's it. Uh, this scene is you and... I uh, hope so. Well, no, well, actually, <laughs> I hope so, cos you are wearing a big face mask, so I'm pretty oh, sure it's that you. One. Could, yeah, cheers. Yeah, it's... It, well... <laughs> could, literally could be anyone. <laughs> it's your eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's your eyes, they shine through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely just walk. Yeah, actually, <laughs> oh. it does walk. I it does do walk, walk in, I walk in. He walks in again. Okay. This is the old walk, isn't it? This is the old walk. This is Jamie Dornan doing his old walk. We're so excited. It's all right, let's see it. New worlds. Here we go. Here we go. Today is ours. What do we feel? Today is ours. We have here. You mistake, sir. Today is ours, and so must your jewels be. Uh, you shall not touch her. Step aside. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do. How dare you do this? We do it not for ourselves. It is your birthday. You shall keep your gems. And now, will you cut my throat? Mm. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's very tough. Who now? Andy. You've just start. You've just started. Um, yeah, I'm, I just like th or three eps in, and the then, first season. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched oh, really? any, yeah. but. Um, and I apologise, but the only reason is, when it first started, this, we've got a friend, and he was like, you've got to watch this show. It's the greatest television show I've ever seen. And just to piss him off, I didn't watch it. <laughs> and now, the thing is, we did that all the time. They're like, no, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> and, now I, and now I kind of feel like I'm left out of a party that everyone's enjoying. You're the same, aren't you, Jamie? What? Uh, well, no, no, I was laughing that, uh, you know, Aunt, Aunt said, we have a friend, and then didn't... Like, just like they have one friend. <laughs> <laughs> But we did that. I had the exact same thing where um, I was so sick of people talking about the finale of Breaking Bad, and I had we'd never seen it, my wife and I, and then we have watched it. I just told I've got four episodes to go. For the whole thing. We've watched it all over Christmas. Um, we had a really exciting Christmas. <laughs> 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 Very happy, yeah. Family-friendly Christmas. Jamie Dornan, you look kind of a similar thing with the fall, playing yeah. sexy. I, 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 all day we've been saying sexy serial killer. It's such a. Why, why has that become a phrase? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he plays the sexy serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> the hot one you wouldn't mind. Uh... <laughs> Don't kill me yet. Yeah. Sorry, but but it must be uh, you know I, I've read you in interviews saying how it, on set it gets pretty bad. Yeah, I mean it's a brutal headspace to to maintain. You know, I, I don't think it's healthy. Look, I mean Jesus, we did you know five hours in the first series. He did seven years. You know, so it's a slightly different thing. But um, I made a point of getting out of that headspace when I could and trying to get out of character when I could because you just don't want to take it home. I didn't want to take it home. Yeah. Maybe we're looking at Yeah, you think that I mean, want to... No, I definitely don't want to take it home. You definitely don't want to But I heard there was a sweet thing. You used to apologise to the actresses after you'd kind of done horrible things yeah, to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, the man, like, you're literally, like, got some poor, really lovely, very naked actress. Um, um, and you're, just, you're literally doing the creepiest things imaginable. Yeah, yeah. And getting paid for it. And getting paid for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so <they care>. um, <laughs> See, actually, no, it might work uh, home with me, but he's called Deck and he only lives four doors away. So. <laughs> we can wait no longer. Uh, Julie, you might want to have a sip of your champagne. Why? We're about to see a clip. <gasps> of... Yeah. <gasps> okay, nice. here we go. Of now, this is uh, your character, Jamie, Christian Grey. Yes. Going to where the lady works in the. She works in a hardware store. She does. Yeah. <laughs> no, she really does work in a hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> you read the books. You know this. She works at the hardware store. A and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, anyway, this, this, this is it. Here we go. I thought it was you. 
What the? What a pleasant surprise, Miss Steele. Just Anna. <clears throat> Just Anna. You're in here. I was in the area of business. Needed to pick up a few things. Are you free? Yeah. What can I help you with? Do you stock cable ties? Cable ties, yes, we do. I can show you if you want. Please lead the way, Miss Steele. Just Anna. Is that it? Basking tape. Are you redecorating? No. Um, we have two inch and one inch. But the truly self-respecting handyman will have both in his toolbox. Of course you will. Mm, it's rare to find the connoisseur these days. Do you, you want anything else? Yes. Rope. <laughs> it's impressive. Good girl, Scott. Yeah. Um, no, organized group activity isn't really my thing. So what is your thing? Um, I don't know. Books? <laughs> okay. Rope, tape, cable ties. You're the complete serial killer. Not today. Obviously, that's not a real hardware store, but uh, that is a real hardware store. Oh, it is a real hardware store. This is the funnest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> such a boy. No, I'm such. A, I know I'm such a. Uh, I'm such a fiddler. <laughs> I, um, uh, right. Everything's funny. No, I know. <laughs> um, I am. Um, I, I get very fidgety, and I love. Um, so you go into a, a real hardware store, and you know people are trying to be serious and get work done and stuff. But there's like loads of like nails and stuff. And I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I just love like you know I was filling people's pockets with nails and being. <laughs> Being definitely the most annoying person to ever work with. Um, but I had a lot of fun. But it was a real hard work. Well, Fifty Shades, obviously, it's opening everywhere. And there's all this merchandising. There's so much merchandising. There is. Something that isn't part of the official merchandising, but which is amazing. Uh, somebody <laughs> has baked a Christian Grey cake. Uh. <laughs> Can you see the Christian Grey cake? I've seen it online. Well, it's right here. It, this is it. So uh, let's reveal oh. the Christian Grey cake. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Now, uh, so this is this is a this is a Christian Grey cake from the thing. It. Uh, now the lady who made it, Rose. Where's Rose? Oh, there you are. There you are. Firstly, you must have a very tall oven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing. But now, how long did this take? Um, it took a team of four of us about two to three weeks. Wow. <laughs> Come over and have a look at it. Come over, because I'm going to I'm going to give you a taste in a bit. Uh, <laughs> no, because we, we are allowed to eat it. Uh, because now tell us because these things so that you it comes with it comes with things. <laughs> and these are all edible as well. Yes. These are licorice. Yes, they're all, go and eat it. They're real you, they're yeah. actually quite nice. Can I have some? No, do. It's delicious. Have some. Okay. And actually, let's go. Uh, and I've got a very, very, very. They, they kept twirling me all afternoon. Graham, the knife is very sharp. <laughs> like I'm just going to kill all the guests. So, uh, thank you very much. Now, Rose, this is horrible, but Rose has said the best way to cut into it is in the stomach. <laughs> oh. So, sorry, Jamie. <laughs> okay. It's like a voodoo doll. Is this about right? Am I doing it right? Crack on. No, she says. No, no, crack on, she says. Hang on. Grab and then on. down here, like that, oh. yeah? We don't have got oh. half. Ooh. Has it got cream in it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can I just say, I'm doing That's a very a good job. I'm doing a very good job. Do you, wouldn't that make a lovely chest of drawers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on. I'll do a bit here. Here's the good deeper. Oh, oh, hang on. There's a bit. I can get a bit here. Look at that. That's lovely now. That is great. That is, well. Thank you. <laughs> I was doing very well. Now I'm just tunnelling. Please, Jane, it is you. How do you taste? <laughs> um, better than I imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes. 
Why did you do it? <laughs> Good question. It was made for an international cake show. Of course. And we've made a red room that's totally edible, and we're taking it to London. So he is for a reason. He Jesus. isn't just because I... Yeah. Like Can I just say... <laughs> he, he now has a rather unappealing hole in his stomach. <laughs> uh, that? Well, no, delicious. Uh, well on the cake. Very good. Let's go and sit down. Let's go sit down. Well, lovely. Yeah. I'll see you later. Mm. Gary Morris, Jamie. Yes. Gary Morris. Well, that's mm. what they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> now, now uh, Jamie Dornan's film, Fifty Shades Free. It opens 9th of February, and this is the third part. <laughs> uh, with the with the strap line, don't They're miss all here, the climax. Jamie. They're all here. Yeah. yeah. They're right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> We didn't do that on purpose. No, I like that. That's good. <laughs> they, they obviously just very aggressive and fought their way to the front of the queue. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this, I mean, it is a phenomenon. This thing. The 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 trailer for this one came out, yeah. and <laughs> within hours, it's been watched by 26 million people. The trailer. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's incredible. Lunacy. Yeah, the yeah. It really is. <laughs> and, and, and of course, it must be odd because you finished this film a long time ago. You shot it at the yeah, same well, time we shot run. the second and third back to back, so um, you know, over a year and a half ago now since we finished. So it sort of feels like a bit of a. It's in, it just feels in the past to me a, a wee bit. And yeah. We've all done. <laughs> I had a very busy schedule up until now, so it's kind of weird to be talking about it now. Yeah, I, I think. but here it is, and people want to see it. There they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah those, those people. Um, now uh, this isn't a spoiler because it's in the trailer and I've ever seen the trailer. Yeah. So in this one, Anastasia Steele, uh, she pregnant. She is, is a she? child. <laughs> Did you? Is that not? Are you not in those Probably, scenes? Probably. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, God knows you've had enough sex. I mean, <laughs> it was only a matter of time. You know, she was meant to be. She was meant to be better about that. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's meant to be things in place that meant that we didn't oh, have kids. Oh, okay. The other thing that was in the trailer that that as oh people have gone crazy for this. This is uh, Jamie's James Bond moment when he comes from the sea. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we paid you to make these noises. Uh, <laughs> but now, so you left Vancouver. That isn't Vancouver, is it? That is definitely not Vancouver. No, that's <laughs> in the south of France. Oh, lovely. Yeah, nice. lovely. And to be honest, we did that right at the end of the shoot after you know this whole sort of you know um, massive journey and all the stuff in France was sort of jet skiing around and swimming and mucking about and bikes and it was actually a bit of a holiday to be honest but that was horrendous I mean look if they just tilted the camera down that whole moment it was awful we had um, at the beach semi sort of closed off but actually there was loads of people on there that we didn't have control over and then it was a sunk you know a beach down here and a big wall and, and a street up there with hundreds of fans and, and paparazzi and all just trying to get shots because Dakota's wearing a tiny wee bikini and I'm wearing whatever that clobber is. <laughs> and I, and they, so they have this whole thing, they want to be like sexy, you're coming out of the water. <laughs> and the whole James Bond thing. But it's, a, it's not a sand beach, it's one of those wee pebble beaches. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you literally, cow, cow, we've all cow. been there, like you cannot look cool coming out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I was mean, literally going like, ah, guys, so we did one take and I was going... <laughs> Paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to change something up here. Help me out. Yeah. So they put down like a wee carpet. <laughs> they, they didn't really kind of work. It was kind of down, but they put rocks on it to try to keep it. I was still so, but it was still like it wasn't like a platform and thing. There was still rocks underneath. And then I ended up wearing those little like sort of guppy shoe things. <laughs> it was like it was like gel shoes. <laughs> No one in the world has looked sexy in those. <laughs> um, and actually, I saw, I had to see the movie last week to do press for whatever. And this whole thing, I mean, they used that as a still, but you don't, the, my exit from the thing isn't in, isn't in the movie. Oh. <laughs> oh. That might be a, a pretty crap spoiler. But yeah. <laughs> DVD extras. DVD yeah, yeah. extras. <laughs> because, yeah. because, Jamie Dornan, you had a real dominatrix on set, didn't you? Uh, yes, like, uh, he called himself the kink advisor, was his name. <laughs> Is that in the credits? I don't know where it is. 
<laughs> what he what he had covered, yeah. He was uh, yeah, he's like an S and M advisor, yeah. So, yeah, he was like an S and M guy. <laughs> <laughs> so did he kind of help you he showed you how to do all the knots and the things yeah, and I mean, the... like he, he's not the sort of guy I'm like dying to spend time with, you know? Yes, I can imagine. So um, <laughs> I kept our um, encounters few and far between and I sort of just you know went with it and um, but yeah, he was there. It was good to have around if it was like, look, I really genuinely don't know how to buckle this or whatever it may be. <laughs> um, and, and often in movies where there's a lot of sex, you know, the, the woman is the kind of sex object. But this was a kind of very female heavy movie because it was Sam Taylor Johnson directing, E.L. James was around. Yeah. So is that odd as a man where you've got people kind of critiquing what you normally just do? Yes, I know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, uh, Rarely do you do something uh, sex-based or something deemed to be sexy with someone sort of going, I mean, is that sexy? Yeah. Are we going to let him do it that way? <laughs> Which I had, you know, uh, often. And, mm. you know, I'd usually I'd do something and I, I'd, I'd, we'd do a rehearsal and I'd think, yeah, that must have looked relatively sexy. And then Sam would sort of take me aside and be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> never, never do that to a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Has this ruined your life? <laughs> yeah, no, possibly, yeah. no, it sounds like sex finishing school. Even. <laughs> I love this guy from The Fall, which is a fantastic series. I can't watch those films because I made a movie with Dakota's mum <laughs> many years ago, and I used to swing Dakota round <laughs> at the age of two. Yeah. So I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't see her as a. As an adult, I think, so uh, me, mate. I think I've swung her around a wee bit. But now, even though this is the, the final film, yeah. this is the final film, uh, this is a bit of sort of sorry to disappoint everyone, you still don't go fully nude. There's still no fully nude. And even on set, you didn't go fully nude. <laughs> Fully nude. So why are you saying it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think on set I was fully nude, but it wasn't part of the sort of creative process. <laughs> oh, I thought you, had, I thought you were, the costume department made sure you were not fully nude. Oh, I know where you're going. Okay, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys have had to deal with this. You get these, we, you get like a modesty patch for women, like a little sort of strip that goes down there. And for guys, you get a wee pouch, like a. It looks like something Robin Hood would carry coins in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got like a wee drawstring. And on, on, on the, first, the first time we had to do a sex scene in Fifty Shades of Grey, the first movie, which is what, four or five years ago now, and uh, um, I was like, oh, I've never had to wear one of these before or whatever. Like, and they had a, in my trailer, they had a little like, uh, display on a little, <laughs> little like, velvet box <laughs> with all these different, 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 all these different little pouches for your, for your bits. Yeah. I know all, all skin toned. Uh, on, what, you different know, sizes? Different sizes, different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> different sizes. <laughs> no, from small up to whatever. <laughs> um, so I, I, I picked one out and thought, let's oh, so try this on. <laughs> and lock my trailer door here. Uh, try this on. Oh, that feels all right. And then I took it off and went, I guess it's all right. And as I took it off, it had a little like, stitch on the side that said, inmate number three. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's clearly been used. Yeah. In this is some other film where, like, some yeah. massive, like, prisoner has <laughs> <laughs> yeah. worn it. Um, but it was the one I was sort of most attached to, so I sort of, um, I think I just, you know, grinned and bared it, really. Yeah. But, uh, Jamie Dorn, oddly, it did you, you arrived at sex symbol status quite late in life. Did. Yes. So, uh, tell us a story about, uh, I think you were, what were you, about 15? This is one of the worst stories in my locker. <laughs> And I've, I've On de packet. Big debates about whether I should tell it, but fuck it. Um, <laughs> but I, I was, it, this it actually had a big effect on me as a kid. It has a big effect on, I'm sure, lots of, lots of kids. But I was very sporty when I was a kid, and, but I was a late developer. I was small, you know, I, I wasn't very hairy. I, I was just one of those guys who just wasn't, you know, I was a bit behind. and I was young for my year, and that had a big effect on me. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, I was sort of balancing playing rugby at school and, and doing a bit of amateur dramatics on the side. And uh, it also culminated in, we got the final, Liam will know this, of the medallion shield, which when you're 15 is the biggest thing that could happen. 
and uh, I went to Skulkin Methody and we were playing into our main rivals at Ravenhill, which is Ulster's ground, and it was a, such a massive thing, there was going to be a big party afterwards. And, uh, but also that same night befell the, the, the All-Ireland final of the you know, Amateur Dramatic Society, where, where I, was, <laughs> I was in uh, performing uh, Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard, um, and I think I was a waiter or something. I was on stage a lot, but didn't really have any lines, didn't have anything to say. And I thought, right, I'll be able to go play rugby, hopefully win that, and then go and do the play, and then go to the party for the rugby afterwards. Now, I was 15, I looked about seven. Um, <laughs> I, um, I had no hair or anything. And anyway, in the play, they'd given me this sort of black, very acrylic, highly flammable wig that they used to cut off and yoo hoo to my face to give, me, to give me a beard, to give the appearance I was older. So I thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> after we, after we, the curtain came down on this play, um, and I'm going to this party after, and you know, I might meet a girl, and maybe she drops a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the idea to, to maybe cut off some extra hair off the very. <laughs> By the way, I was a very fair child. I had long hair. <laughs> So I went into the, the, the dressing room, I went into like the toilet and like cut off all this very curly <laughs> jet, jet black hair. <laughs> I put it in a wee pile and got my yoo hoo glue and just <laughs> kicked it around there, stuffed it in. I remember standing in front of the mirror going, that looks all right. <laughs> Just the lengths you go to. Anyway, obviously went to the party. I think I kissed a girl. I was sort of really ur urging her to sort of, you know, without forcing her, <laughs> urging her to sort of go down. Because on this one for one night only, <laughs> it's actually quite an impressive place to put your hand. Um, anyway, that didn't happen. And actually, thank God it didn't, because I got home. It was a car crash down there. <laughs> <laughs> so tough, uh, yeah. Was, was the removal painful? The, I'll tell you why the removal was so like painful, physically and emotionally. I did actually, I did actually have about three pubes, <laughs> natural, natural, yeah. naturally developed pubes. Mm, mm. They went as soon as yeah. I. <laughs> so, yeah. What about the image? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that story. Well, welcome to the world of waxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>